Hello friends, welcome to Laptex. My name is Nasser. Along with me, Dildar sir is here to help me. So here we have a Dell CDAR motherboard and uh, the problem is very common, the 7 bit sound. Now let's come and see the status. So as you can see, uh, the motherboard condition, nobody has worked on it. So I think the first time it has opened and uh, this is the good thing about me because uh, I do not usually get the this types of motherboard, the fresh one and uh, the part number you can see, SIDAR. So it is 3542 uh, model of Dell and uh, here for the testing, however, I never uh, prefer to use the speaker. I always work as, uh, as per my uh, experience because uh, I have to check the signal, I have to follow the signal, I do not follow the bass sound. But despite, I would like to show you that what is the condition. Now I have injected the DC power supply. So you can see that ampere goes to 258 milliampere. Now you can count 7 times bass sound. So this is the very frequent question in any group and in any uh, forum that uh, what, is, what could be the reason of the 7 bit sound. If you search on the uh, on the any forum, then you will get to know that uh, it is a fake beep sound and uh, the postcode could be that uh, wrong and this types of information, lots of things has been written. But as per the technical, if uh, you go in the depth of the motherboard, you will come to know the, the, the different uh, problem could be the reason of the same thing that the beep sound the 7 time beep sound. For example, if uh, VS supply is missing in the motherboard like uh, if the voltage does not transmit into S5 state to S0 state, even it will produce 7 time beep sound. If uh, the bias communication is not proper, if the bias communication is not proper uh, with the PCH, then it will it will produce the 7 time beep sound. If, uh, some of the supply required supply for the PCH if uh, it does not meet its uh, requirement then it will produce the uh, beep sound. But uh, I would like to tell you one thing my friends that uh, if you uh, recklessly work, if you work on the hit and try method, what you will do in such case first of all, first of all you will reprogram the BIOS sometime uh, you may uh, change the core however the core voltage is generated in this motherboard and uh, you will look around the motherboard and you get tired and you just heat up and you just boil the uh, PCH and that uh, you know that is dead uh, that could be the reason of the dead uh, if uh, there is the some slightest of problem in the motherboard and uh, consequently what would be happen if 7 bits on the 30 number pin that the DRAM reset would be missing. So this is the DRAM reset, this is the particular motherboard constantly and rapidly you will get to repair. So this is the DRAM reset uh, supply, this is the pull up supply, this is not actually the reset, this is also one uh, big question and uh, the answer is uh, really uh, you have to know about all about the PCH and IO communication. So this is the pull up register and uh, it goes on the 30 number pin of the uh, dim slot. Here you sometimes you will miss uh, this DRAM uh, reset on the 30 number pin that also reason that is also reason of the 7 bips on. So ultimately this reset comes out from the processor. So many has the many types of experience uh, that uh, different types of uh, uh, reason we have taken out from the 7 bips on. But one thing I would like to tell you, if you hanker after, if you look, if you follow the these, this types of chart that tell me that what is the reason of 7 bips on, it is really true I must confess here that uh, there is a no particular answer of, for the same situation. So for that. I would like to recommend you, you have to go through the entire PCH requirements. You need to understand the communication logic between the SIO chip and the PCH. Like here, what I am going to do you, I am going to demonstrate you uh, a logic here that uh, 
if the logic is missing between the LPC and PCI area, then it will also produce the 7 bit sound. So, what is the logic? I will not tell you here. I expect you to write on the comment box. So, that, that is the good uh, feedback from your side that how do you check the communication logic between the PCI and LPC? This is what you have to write on the comment box. You have been working in the same field for long years, you have experience of it, you have to tell me that what is, what do you check the, in the communication logic. So, there are the so many communication between the PCH and SIO, but I am asking to you that you have to tell me the PCI area and LPC area logic. So, what is the sequence, how do you check these signals? However, there are the so many more signals is remaining, but you have to tell me the particular area. So, in some of the IO, some of the SIO, you will find out the LPC would be written. For example, let me uh, open some different diagram so that I could uh, show you. Like uh, this is the diagram where 30 number page go on the 30. So, here also it is not written. So, let me go in the different one 3, 5, 2, 1 I think here it is written uh, I think 2, 1 this one uh, go on the page 39. So, that would not be 39 I hope yes I think lower side. Now, so, in some of the uh, schematic, so this is for the your information for your uh, knowledge only, this is the LPC area, this is the low pin count, this is the communication area and uh, it is communicating with the PCI area of the PCH and uh, the communication uh, take place when laptop is proper on and sometime you have to check uh, some of the signals while it is not turning on like EC reset you have to check before the turning on. So, you have to write that how you check these sequence. If you do not know what is the sequence and uh, how these things work, you will keep on struggling in the same 7 and 3 bit sounds. You will keep on following these types of sounds. I hardly use this speaker to identify that is what sound is it is giving out you have not to follow the sounds. So, let us take it out and throw it. You have to follow this chart whatever I am telling you. If you understand this communication then you will not require of following the any types of sounds which comes out from the because that is the BIOS communications the, L, the last communication of the BIOS that indicates that the, the communication of CPU is missing. This is what it is indicating you that is the post which is indicating you the uh, the lacking of communication between the PCH and CPU chip. So, now uh, one thing let me demonstrate you because uh, I never uh, leave you on the mid. I will check here PLT reset the one thing I will check here. So, now let me find out uh, let me uh, take out the right diagram. So, here the PLT reset is on the pin number 7. Now, let us come and check. I am checking it on the pin number 7. So, now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I think I am not using my reference probe, ground reference 5, 6, 7. Now, you can see on my DSO that 3.3 uh, volt PLT reset is available on my motherboard. So, the bridge is producing PLT reset and it is giving it the information is going to the SIO chip and what next? This is the question where lots of uh, the technician who repair the laptop they stuck up at the same point because if you talk about the this particular thing let me show you one thing the communication the last logic uh, which which is given by the uh, company this is the last information you check and you stuck up in the same point in the very point now you see here 
do you think that after the plt reset after the plt reset the dmi is dmi means that direct uh, media interface and that you can call it display so display has come or display should come after the plt reset so as per the communication so long you have gone from rtc to plt reset you have gone and you have found each and everything is right then you should get the dmi the display should come now but here we are listening seven bit sound so as you have seen that the plt reset or uh, is available in my motherboard now why it is not giving us the display so there is something which is not written in the schematic even in the power sequence so this is the power sequence i am if i if i check from the rtc to plt reset so each and everything is fine uh, even my plt reset is present in the motherboard and it is communicating with the controller io now why i am not getting the display so here something which is missing and uh, which cannot be explained in once because as i told you if i tell you the answer if i tell you the answer of this particular section then what will you do then you will keep on struggling in, in that point i want you to explore in the laptop repairing whatever the problem comes for the 7 bit you would be able to solve that only knowing the communication logic between the pch and sio if you know th that point i think that would not be very much big task to repair any 7 uh, bit sound so why i am focusing on the communication logic because uh, that is the only point uh, which uh, will save your time which will save your energy energy uh, which will save your ic as well and uh, if you are seeking for a good institute for laptop repairing and training so you are on the right place you can contact on the given number and you can consult for the video course because as of now the video course is only going on because it is the corona uh, the corona is uh, uh, in the world across the world so uh, we cannot offer you the offline training you can avail from us only video course by contacting on this given number so if you are interested you can uh, you can send the message you can get the query from us so now let me give you the solution of this particular case i will not show you as i am telling you because there are the various things i have done in this motherboard in this is not the particular dell motherboard in hp in uh, shiva in acer lots of motherboard sometime three times bips on sometime uh, a seven time bips on so doesn't matter you have to follow the communication logic between the pch and sio chip this is what is the logic you will come to know through our video course so now let me give you the solution